Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing Spiritual Streams. Today we're doing our daily messages from Spirit and we have three different uh, piles that you can choose from to get your messages. We have Pile 1 with the Romance Tarot. We have Pile 2 with the Arcanum Tarot. And Pile 3 with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. We also will be doing our Oracle Spheres in each reading so you can think of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to. It is best to go with your gut instinct on deciding which uh, pile has your messages. And then when you are ready, there will be links in the description that will take you directly to your pile. So we're going to give you some time to reflect so that you can decide which one is the best one. And we'll see you there. One, welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. We um, have our Romance Tarot deck that you guys chose to get those messages. And then we also have our Oracle Spirit, so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to. And the cards are all messed up today. All right, these are the cards. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And, what, honey? Sorry, we have the Justice card and the Seven of Swords. Mm, interesting. Uh, two sevens. And then the Justice in the middle. That's a very balanced energy, <laughs> uh, just right off the bat. Okay, the Sevens are a change kind of energy. They're a change card. They're... Um, Something uh, being different uh, than what you were used to or something happening um, along the way. Uh, this, uh, these cards are very intriguing to me today because it's, it's from the Romance Tarot deck. So the pictures on them are quite different than uh, what usually will show up in a reading. And so the energies um, I get from them are sometimes uh, a little different. And in this case, you notice how she's running towards uh, the building here and she's following the pinnacles uh, to get there. She's rushing towards something. And then this one, she has uh, built up a party here. She's waiting on her guest uh, to get there. Um, they just haven't arrived yet. And then in the middle here, you have uh, the justice card. And, uh, you know, she's got her scales. You know, things are are weighted the same and this is interesting too because uh she has a hat in one scale and flowers in the other um so to me that represents the choices that you can make um and with you ha with the different energies on either side i really feel like Spirit is saying that you do have a choice. Um, you have a choice to make. There's um, some opportunities, some offers, some things coming along where you need to decide which is the direction you want to go in. And so I'm going to give you um, an idea here. This one is the Pentacles. She's running towards an opportunity. Uh, Pentacles usually mean monetary uh, types of things or other things like that. Uh, she might be running towards a job opportunity or or an offer like that, okay? Then over here, she's uh, set up for a party. She's waiting uh, for uh, people to come to it um, and so forth. Now, those are two different energies. One is going towards a work opportunity. One is sitting and waiting and uh, waiting for uh, people to come to her and, and have fun and so forth. So basically, you need to decide which direction, which opportunities, which um, offers, uh, which way your, your life's going to go, okay? Uh, because you are going to have some opportunities or some offers or some other things coming your way, some decisions to make, and you need to decide which way is going to make you happiest. Because you notice with uh, the justice in the middle and things weighing out the same, 
That means that either opportunity could be good for you, either opportunity or choice uh, could work out. It's just whichever one uh, resonates with you the most, whichever one you think you would be the happiest uh, being, whichever one um, you want to go. Okay, so you have a choice on how to run your life, where to go with it, and what to do. And it's basically up to you to decide uh, which way you think you would like to do. But Spirit is saying that either direction could fulfill you in different ways. Each one uh, could uh, be good for you. It's just whichever way that you would like to follow right now, whichever uh, thing you would like to do. Okay, so uh, they're letting you know that, you know, either direction isn't better than the other one in this case. Um, sometimes that is the case in choices, but in this case, uh, that's, that's not true. I actually remember um, a, quite a while back having a reading that basically had that message in it as well, uh, that there was uh, two different choices to make and that either one would work out okay. Um, gosh, that was quite a while back now I remember but I do that reading just all of a sudden popped in my head so um it's interesting all right we have our oracle spheres here we have three different stands for you to choose from we have purple green and blue you decide which one has your answer on it you think of your yes or no question and we'll go out and we'll get our answers all right number one purple is a very likely and number two, green. Is a maybe. And number three, blue is a not now. So we got a very likely, a maybe, and a not now. So there's your oracles for answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for being here. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, and leave us comments. All of those things mean so much to us. And we look forward to seeing you again in future readings. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the Arcanum Tarot deck. We have your messages here as well as our oracle spheres so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to and we will be doing that as well <laughs> got some cards falling out all over here all right let me grab this other one oh, i am such a messy messy shuffler oh my goodness all right, let's take a look at what we got today. All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, your message today is very straightforward, very simple, very easy. You guys are, if you follow your passions, okay, follow your dreams, follow what really fires you up. Okay, what really, really sets your, your heart aflame, which really just makes you super happy. If you follow that, you will reap wonderful rewards from it. This could be career-wise or money-related. This could be romance-related. Uh, this could be any uh, area in your life that you are concerned with at the moment that you are working on. But what Spirit is telling you is the very, very first step is to go for it is to follow what you uh, really feel in your heart, what really uh, matters to you, what you really would like to do. You follow that and the rewards will definitely uh, follow after that. They will be there uh, for you, either monetary or emotional or um, you know, physical. All those rewards will be there for you. You just need to uh, do the first step, which is uh, follow your passions. Okay, very simple message, uh, very cool message. And here we go. All right, we got our Oracle Spheres. You think of a yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to. You pick a stand for your answer to be on. We have blue, or sorry, purple, green, and blue today. Uh, you decide which one you'd like to get your answer on, and we'll go out and we'll get the answer. All right, number one purple is not sure. Oops. 
number two green is a not now and a number three blue is a maybe so we have a not sure not now and a maybe so there's your oracles for your answers for today thank you so much for being here for the reading please remember to give the video a thumbs up share the channel with your friends and family leave us comments in the comment section and check out our other videos all of those things mean a great deal to us and we look forward to seeing you again may the stars guide your path bye bye Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit, those of you that chose the Heaven and Earth Tarot deck. Uh, we have your messages here. We also have our Oracle Spheres that we're going to get an answer to a yes or no question for you. Uh, so you just be thinking of that, and then we'll go out and we'll get our answers. So let's see what Spirit... Oh, four cards. Wow. Okay, every once in a while we do more than three. All right, let's see what Spirit has to say today. All right, we got the Seven of Pentacles, or Success Unfulfilled, as the card likes to say. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Temperance and the Devil card. Okay. This message is similar to one that we've had recently. Um, so I guess Spirit just kind of wants to get it out there again. Um, there is some sort of temptation coming your way that if you follow it, it will not do so well for you, okay? Uh, it's interesting how, normally I think of the Seven of Pentacles as being uh, a little bit more of an abundance card, a little bit more of, you know, getting ready to uh, reap, you know, what's available, you know, it's getting ready to be harvest time, that kind of thing. And it's interesting how on this particular deck, they say... Uh, success unfulfilled um, and that is the energy that we're getting here with if you follow the temptation uh, that is coming your way um, it, it's a warning it's another warning uh, we had this just recently this week uh, either yesterday or the day before um, that gave this warning of following temptation think very hard about uh, what the consequences might be uh, whether it feels right or not, uh, and so forth. Because if you wait uh, and don't follow that, then a better opportunity will come along, something that will actually fulfill you and work out better, um, and so forth. Uh, the other opportunity will throw you out of balance. It will, um, you, you just will fall short of being able to get what you want out of it. Um, it won't fulfill you correctly. It won't um, benefit you the way, uh, that it seems, uh, you know, it's too good to be true kind of energy comes through there. So, uh, it's very important that any opportunities or, or temptations, I really want to call them that, uh, that come your way, uh, that you really analyze it and really think about it before you follow it. Because if you just follow blindly on something that's like, Oh, that sounds really great or gee, that could be really cool, or whatever, and you just go with it, it will not serve you the way you want it to. Uh, so that you really need to be um, warning that, that's, that that is a possibility and is coming your way, okay? All right, let's look at our Oracle Spheres for today. We have three different stands. We have purple, green, and blue. You decide which one uh, you get your answer on. You think of your yes or no question, and then we'll go out and we'll get your answers. Okay, number one, purple is a not likely. Number two, green is a probable. And number three, blue is a not now. All right, so we have a not likely, a probable, and a not now. So there's your oracles for answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for the reading. We really appreciate it. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, and leave us comments. All those things mean a lot to us, as well as checking out other videos. Uh, all those things help the channel, and we really appreciate it. So we look forward to seeing you again. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.